हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई बी ऑल डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर माय नेम इज इंशाल बेग आई एम अ फुल स्टैक डेवलपर एंड ग्राफिक डिजाइनर लाइक इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न मेनी थिंग्स मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड मेनी टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू पाइथन एंड आई होप यू ऑल लाइक अंडरस्टैंड एंड एंजॉय दैट ऑल एंड नाउ टुडे इन दिस क्लास वी विल लर्न वन प्रोजेक्ट रिलेटेड टू पाइथन लाइक इट विल बी वी विल जनरेट वन स्टोरी जनरेटर विथ पाइथन इट विल बी रैंडम स्टोरी जनरेटर एंड आई होप यू विल इंजॉय दिस अंडरस्टैंड दिस एंड लाइक इट ऑल्सो सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट सो नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विथ अवर प्रोजेक्ट विच विल बी पाइथन स्टोरी जनरेटर ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट लाइक इन प्रीवियस क्लास we are working with text editor of pycharm okay now we will work with our new text editor which is atom okay like you can see my text editor is atom you can download it from google okay if you want to i am i have just already downloaded it if you can download it from google okay you can see this now from here you can also open this or from here also like i will show you if you press windows r or type here atom so it will be also open from here okay so you can see it is open from here okay now you can see this now just close that all now you can also do like if you want to check that uh, where it has location okay so you can also do like just write here atom your text editor name now you can also do like just press right click and here you have to press open file location okay so you can see this it is in local disk c and it is user in shall app data here is here my atom text editor okay you can see this location also now just open it from here you can see it is looking like that now for taking one new file you can also take github tab with it or take new file for taking new file just go to file take new file from here and save it as any name you want to like i will give new dot py okay just on desktop and save it you can see my file is saved and from here you can open your folders okay if you store your file in folder so you can open folder of your file now i will work with our project okay now just start first of all we have to write one code which is import okay this import tags is really important to write like we have worked with it in our previous class and topics also because we have to import everything which with this tag like we are making one random story generator and in it we have to use this import tag because it is really important with random tag so we have to use this import tag okay so now from here you can run your uh, project okay like from here you can run your project just close that from here okay now just write import and write random here okay we are writing this import random because we have to import that all randomly we are making that all randomly so we have to import also randomly so now you can see i have written import random you can also download it this random okay if you don't have this but it a random is installed already in some text editor but some don't have it so i will show you that how to download it for download it it you have to do like just press this plus sign here from this your terminal will open okay now when your terminal will open you have to do like just write here pip okay pip means that it is already installed with python when you install python from google so it is already installed with it okay so you can see this pip now i will write here install okay because we have to install anything from here so we will write pip okay so when you have written this pip install now in front of it you have to do like just write here random because we have to download this random so we will write here pip install random now when it is pip install random is written so now you have to do like just you have to press enter here okay so now you can see this when i press enter so you can see there is coming error and warning because i have already downloaded this all in my computer if you want to so you can and there is warning coming because i am using the old version of pip okay you can also uh, use the version 20.2.3 which is available and it is the latest version of pip okay so now we will start now when you have written this import random tag now from here you have to write this print tag okay now when you have written this print tag this print tag is also really important because from this we can print our things like projects our topics and we have also used it in our many topics and projects okay and i hope you remember that all and enjoyed that all also 
So, now in this print text we have to write like we, we will write here like hello and we have to write reader name ok. We have written this hello reader name because we have to hello our reader name like our reader name like I giving you example just I write my reader name of inshal so it will say hello inshal ok like the reader name. Now when you have written that all hello reader name then import random and then print hello reader name. Now when you have written that all now you have to do like just press enter here again and now when you press it now you have to do like just write here like input and which will be of like just press backspace from here now when you have written that all just you have to do like just write here like that and which will be like random and it will be like input and it will be hello and it will be hello plus reader name ok. It will be hello plus reader name just erase this and now here you have to write hello, hello and reader name here ok. Just write reader name just now you have to do like write here print and now from here you have to just press enter ok. When you have press enter here now you have to do like just press enter again here. Now here you have to do like just write here like we will write names ok. Names like uh, we will write names and here will be names like any names you want to you can also write 5 names or 6 names you want to I will write just 4 names ok like I have written inshal my name then I will write like Kerry ok then I will write like Karen and then I will write like Ali like this I have written 4 names here ok you can see this names now when you have written this names now we will write places here ok places will be like the places will be of like America and here will be like Australia ok and here will be like of Pakistan our place ok here will be Pakistan then here will be like Italy I have written so many places here ok four only like I have written four names and now we will write quests here ok quest will be like this now you have to do like just file save like from uh, PyCharm in PyCharm we run from here ok. Now in this you have to run like go to your terminal from here. Now you have to write here like uh, you have to write here python and write here new.py ok. So now you can see this there is coming error because we have not defined this reader named ok. Now when you have done that just come over here and now you have to do like just when you have written this quest then you have to do like just write here like slay the dragon ok like this I have written slay the dragon and now when you have written that all just write here like uh, awesome like I am writing like awesome man then I will write like it will be like uh, hello how are you like this I have written that all now if you have written that now we have to write roles here ok roles will be of like that we will write just equal to here and now we will write like just two strings here and now in roles we will write like it will be like hello and it will be like what are you just write here what are you doing ok like this I have written this ok you can see this what are you doing now we will write here like what are what is your name ok like this I have written now then I will write like is you are I have written this all ok. Now you can see this I have written this roles, quest, places and names I have written this all. Now here you have to do like just write here print and in print we will write like what is your name ok like this I have written this now just erase this from here and write here like which will be of input tag ok. Input is really different from here ok because input is only used for if we want to ask any question or give any answer so input is used for dead things ok. If you write here like python and write here like h dot just run it from new dot py ok. Oh, sorry it is just incorrect now just go over here again run new dot py. So you can see this hello what is your name ok it is asking inshall I will write like so you can see this error error is coming because reader name is not defined here ok. Now when you have done this now you have to do like just write here again 
and now here you have to do like just write here print and hello plus reader name you have written now you have to do like just come over here and now here just you have to open h dot pi file okay from here open just h dot pi okay like i have told you h dot pi file now open it from here just you can see this my file is here h dot pi now you have to do like just open it now you have to do just take it to atom okay now you can see this there is this just now we will work with it okay now just erase this from here and now when we plus our reader name so we will define also our reader name okay for defining the reader name you have to do like just write here like print and write here reader name okay reader name will be like of just write here input which will be like what is your name okay just question mark here just erase this okay from here because we have written that all in reader name now when it is done just save from here now go here and now you have to write here python and you have to write new dot pi so you can see this it is asking hello reader name what is your name like inshal so you can see this it is saying hello inshal okay because it is our reader name now when it is done just here we have to show that these are working randomly okay so for showing that you have to do like just here come okay and write here random okay random name okay we will show that all randomly so we will write random name which will be like random again and but it will be of dot choice okay it will be dot choice and which will be of like it will be names okay names will be because we are defining this list here and these all names will come randomly so we are defining this name list in this bracket okay now again write random and which will be like place and it will be like now it will be random dot choice and now it will be like places okay because we define their places in list so we will write here places now when it is done just come over here and again write random but it will be quest okay like it will be quest only okay now just random here and write dot again and it will be choice okay just write choice again which will be quests okay because we define here quests and in list these are also written so it will also come randomly okay now when it is done just you have to do like again press enter now we will write here random role which will be like random and it will be of like random dot role okay random dot choice okay just random dot choice in which will be roles okay we will define this roles list here so we are writing roles in this brackets with random dot choice okay when it is done just you have to write a story underneath that because when we define our reader name so we have to write a story also just from here you have to run that okay first of all run it like python new dot py so you can see this hello reader name inshal hello inshal okay it is working okay now come over here and write here like story okay because we will define a story will be like of here will be once here will be like once upon a uh, time was a okay we will define was only now when it is done just you have to write plus sign okay and it will be like random role okay because we define random role here so we will also define that from which this all will come randomly okay now when you define that just you have to do like plus sign here again now here you have to do like just write called here okay now called here and space is also really important to write here okay so now when it is done just addition sign again and now here you have to do like just write here again which will be random random name okay because we will also define this random name randomly okay when you all define this now again plus which will be these strings okay these both string we will define in the last now when it is done just you have to save that all go here and write here python new dot py okay new dot py so you can see this hello reader name what is your name inshal type so you can see this hello inshal is here okay but the story is not coming A story is not coming because we not define print story okay so we will define print story because this a uh, print tag is really important to write from which we define our story or any project or topic related to python so we have to write this print tag and it is really important to write also okay like i have tell you now when you have written that all just you have to do like save it okay save it and now open your new terminal from here again 
can write here python which will be like new dot py now you can see this hello reader name what is your name inshal so you can see this there is coming hello inshal once upon a time there was what what is your name called karen okay you can see this there is these coming now if i run it many times it will come randomly okay you can see python and now write here like new dot py again so you can see this hello and i will write like z the name hello z once upon a time there was is are you called ali okay you can see this these all are coming randomly okay if i do like that again and now if i write like ali so you can see this these all are coming randomly now if i do like that and write here dot py so you can see this inshal and you can see this these all are coming randomly okay and i hope you understand that what is a story generator in python and please uh, practice it at your home because these code are really important for you and if you don't care it means if you have one mistake here so it will not work okay so you have to take care about that you have written the same code that i have written and you don't write the code two times or three times or one two times or three times okay because from this it will be doubling okay so i hope you understand that what is a story generator with python and i hope you also enjoyed that class so i will meet you in next class so for today good bye